It's time for tonight's worst persons in the world. Ron's Campbell Brown, the lame duck anchor over at CNN. I like her. We once co-anchored Weekend Today for a weekend. She's skilled at her craft, but this I am a martyr to real news tour has got to stop. Her latest Pity Me interview with the LA Times, quote, people are drawn to the echo chamber and they want to have their opinions validated more often than they want to have their opinions challenged. And trying to present an unbiased perspective is simply harder. Firstly, enough with this false equivalency again between O'Reilly and this show. I've never knowingly reported anything false and we correct our mistakes. Secondly, she doesn't uh, think the network's problems have anything to do with, you know, hour-long specials on Mick Jagger on primary night and the American Idol winner during the last hours of Top Kill. Thirdly, I've done the two kinds of news hours that she references by implication, one where you just read what's handed you and you pretended both sides correct and wrong merit equal consideration and you believe you and you alone in the world are objective. And I've done the news hour where you stick your neck out, you tell the echo chamber it's wrong, and you try to get people thinking, and you get death threats in the mail and dirty looks in the hallway. And trust me, of those two kinds, trying to present an unbiased perspective is not just easier, it's as easy as rereading the Associated Press wire copy. CNN's 8 o'clock news programs haven't failed because they're competing with opinion and interpretative news programs. They failed because CNN hasn't figured out that everything it puts on the air is available to everybody who watches all day on the internet. And if you don't bring something else to the table, they aren't going to watch. Let's hope they don't figure it out. Oh, and a happy 30th birthday, CNN.